is Focal Point. The network is the American Family Radio Talk Network. Welcome to those of you that are watching us on television, those of you who are listening to us on the radio on one of our 130 stations that comprise the talk network for AFR Talk. And uh, some of you tuning in, audio and video streaming on our website at AFR.net. Don't forget, we have got podcasts, and these video segments go up on our website, AFR.net, shortly after the program is over. A lot of different ways to get to the content. And I want to get back to uh, my guest. One more question for Dr. Trey Mortensen from Answers in Genesis to Answer, dealing with the issue of origins. And I want to thank Rick, who was the caller that raised the question. Rick was the, was the guy that gave me the term mean stream media. I've used that consistently, and i got to give Rick the credit for that. Rick's the guy that came up with that, and I have adopted it and shamelessly used it. Uh, as my own. But Rick from Lubbock, Texas, Texas gets uh, all the credit for coming up with that phrase. Anyway, what we were talking about, Terry, was this whole issue of, of, of dating. You know, Rick had a question, started out with scripture, went on to the geologic column. Give us just a short seminar on what we know about dating the age of the earth. Well, um, there's really no scientific method that will enable you to measure, de- determine the age of the earth because Every physical process of change that we could study today, whether it's radiometric dating, the amount of salt going into the oceans, the the amount of helium coming into the atmosphere, the decay of the magnetic field of the earth, any process of change we're observing today can only tell us the beginning point of the whole process if we make certain assumptions about the past. But those assumptions can never be verified because they're in the past. And there was nobody there to record them and monitor them and measure them. That's right. And so the only way we can really know the age of the earth is if there was an eyewitness who was there at the beginning. And uh, we as Bible-believing Christians believe that the creator of the universe was there at the beginning and that he has given us his word to tell us about the things in the past that we we couldn't know otherwise. Now, the two things, Terry, that people will say to challenge our view that the earth is relatively young is the fossil record, geologic column. We read stories every day about this fossil discovery, how many millions of years old it is, and uh, radiometric uh, dating. They'll date samples, come back from the moon, 2.6 billion years. So talk to us about the geologic column and radiometric dating. Well, you cannot determine the age of uh, a rock layer based on the fossils unless you know how old the fossils are. But how do you know how old the fossils are? Uh, The evolutionists are using an evolutionary assumption about which creatures came into existence at which time, and um, that's purely assuming the very thing you want to prove. So the fossils can't tell you how old the the, the rock layers are. Uh, other than the fossils do speak of rapid burial and fossilization. Because if you hit a deer with your car uh, and it just lays on the side of the road, it's not going to become a fossil. Decay, uh, microorganisms are going to come. If the highway department doesn't pick it up, it'll be gone. So so the very fact that we find fossils, and sometimes we find uh, the soft tissue, we find evidence of uh, creatures buried in, uh, in the stomachs of other creatures, so we're talking very rapid burial and fossilization, not millions of years to form these things. But so that, the, that would indicate some kind of cataclysmic event oh, yeah. to, to ca- even create these fossils to begin buried, with. Buried in, in floodwaters, catastrophic floodwaters. And we've so, got fascinating that there's several chapters of the Bible devoted to that very thing, a worldwide yeah, flood. Amazing. Amazing. It? Yeah. Uh, As far as radiometric dating, as I indicated, those dating methods or any other physical process of change that we would use are dependent on our assumptions. And Ph.D. creation scientists in in physics, geophysics, and and geology uh, have been involved for a number of years in, uh, in finding strong scientific reasons why the assumptions that the evolutionists make are not valid and therefore the dates that they come up with are not valid. But you know, uh, getting back to the Bible, the Bible uh, clearly says that God created in six days and then chapters five and 11 tell us how long it was from Adam to Noah and from Noah to Abraham and uh, verses scattered in the Old and New Testament pinpoint Abraham at about 2000 BC. So we may not be able to say the exact year, but we're pretty close to uh, just a 6,000-year-old universe if there are no gaps in those genealogies. 
Well, you and can only allow a few gaps if you allow any. Yeah, there's we, not a lot of fudge factor there. So you could maybe push it back to 10,000. We in Answers in Genesis think they're good biblical reasons to say those are tight chronologies. Yeah, and I, I agree. I, in fact, I went through and did some adding myself, Terry, and I came up with 4,242, 4242 B.C. for the creation of Adam. I don't know how close that is, but it's well, in, I, in the ballpark, and that's uh, 6,000 yeah. plus years there, ago. There's no, there's no biblical basis at all for millions of years. You have to import that into the Bible so. from the claims of the secular uh, scientific community. Our guest has been Dr. Terry Mortensen. He's on the staff with Answers in Genesis. And uh, Terry, tell us where people can get more information on this whole issue of creation science if they have other questions. Well, we have a, a great website, uh, www.answersingenesis.org, and uh, we have over 6,000 articles there on just about any uh, question you could think of, both biblical, historical, and scientific. And you can sign up there, too. I get regular things in my inbox from AIG dealing with different questions about origins. Yep, and we put new materials. Every day, sometimes more than one article. So that's AnswersInGenesis.org, spelled just like it sounds. Terry Mortensen, thank you for dropping by and taking time to be with us. Good to be with God's you, God's best to you and your organization. Okay, right, you thank too. Thank you. Bye-bye.